This talk about uh, SAH that has been coiled from a high-grade SAH. Patient needed an EBD. And uh, after coiling, we started to do Iraflow, Iraflow uh, of CSF with TPA after securing the animal. Uh, before the treatment with the Iraflow, the images looked like And after 36 hours, we were able to remove significant amount of the IVH, ICH, and SAH from the cortical area, from the intraventricular space, very small amount of TPA. When you remove the SAH from subarachnoidal space, can you reduce shunt dependency? But we found 15 patients whose chest score was more than 6, meaning that they had a probability of 75% of shunt dependency. And from 15 patients, only uh, 2 patients actually got shunt and expected was 11 patients. So there was a significant reduction in shunt dependency after you remove the SAS from uh, superficial space after aneurysmatic um, um, rupture. Based on that, we had made a WASH study, so Bastosplast and shunt dependency trial after SAH. The idea is to investigate whether we are able to remove bleeding from subarachnoidal space and reduce shunt dependency. And um, we are going to start this trial also during this year, and we have the same investigators involved as there were for the ARC trial. So I encourage you to try the device to see how do you see complication avoidance, secondary injury re reduction, and also the therapeutic approaches. Thank you.